Hi everyone and welcome back to some more XCOM 2 with Covert Infiltration. So, before we go and do a mission, I updated the living quarters a little bit, I tweaked the numbers, so that crew size 2 upgrade will give me plus 15 crew capacity instead of plus 10, so that will be a total of 55, once I get this. So, we will be doing a mission right here, Sabotage Advent Monument. That will increase region income and it will delay Avatar Project Breakthrough. The squad will not be very impressive, but I did buy a new magnetic sniper and now I'm using superior scope with it. So we got two sharpshooters, Grenadier, Technical, Reaper and Ranger. I will be using a few magnetic, we a few ballistic weapons with this one because I'm a little bit low on resources. I only got 79 supplies left. So I suppose that's it. I could actually make a battle scanner, but 25 supplies, that's kind of expensive. Yeah, let's just go. Advent Monument mission shouldn't be too hard, so I should be able to do this just fine with a weaker squad. All right. Let's get started. Not to mention I have a Reaper, so I will be able to scout more effectively. We have a target definition and all that. Yeah, here's a group. So let's just scout around a little bit first. See where the pods are. Yep, more enemies. Uh, that is quite a few enemies all in one place. All right. So let's move in this direction right here. Uh, stay away from the building for now. And uh, from that pod inside. Overwatch just in case. Right, so that's just a warlock and a trooper. I would prefer to not waste my ambush for them. Because that would definitely be a waste. I know where you are. Purifier, stun lancer, sectoid, that's fine. A flame viper and the purifier in the back. That's also fine. Okay, I'm just going to wait here. Unfortunately, I can't really get high ground. I can get high ground with a Reaper, so I suppose I can do that. It's always something. I did not make a magnetic weapon for the Reaper yet, because it is quite expensive and it will only be usable for one single person on my entire roster. So I'm going to wait with that a little bit until I get more resources. Okay, let's set up with Steady Weapon here. So, Steady Weapon for Chlorf. Steady Weapon for Long Strider. Here you go. On the move. Overwatch with everyone else. We can move a little bit closer with Garantio. I'll probably end up fighting both of these pods at the same time. Yeah, I think so. Now I'll have to engage. Yep, pretty much. Maybe I can blast them both with a rocket, if they move close enough. Yeah, perhaps. That looks like they might be close enough. Uh, they are kind of close enough. 0 0.74. So I might or might not hit the warlock with this. I will not hit the trooper. Which can be a good thing, because he has a lot. 0.74. Okay, okay, I should be able to hit four enemies here. Do we want Overwatch? Let's see. How about a frag grenade? Uh, no, a rocket will be better here, as long as I don't misfire too much. I don't think I really want Overwatch. Maybe on Crispy God. But he might also use a grenade, so no. Clorf and Longstrider have steady weapon up. Okay, let's go with that rocket launcher then. So, like this. I don't want to hit the purifier. We will not kill the purifier, but... Yeah, I want to hit that entire pod. Go, go, Garantio! Yeah, that's good. We hit all four of them. Very nice. Now we just need to finish the job. Which shouldn't be too hard. 
let's see where they move. If the purifier stays close enough to someone else, I might be able to blow that person up. No, that's not close enough. Okay then, never mind. So I do have advanced stock, not superior stock. Which means 2 damage. Not 3. Well, it is 66%. Let's shoot that Stun Lancer. Got him. Very nice. So walk fire will kill the purifier. That's 93%. Let's go with that. Got him. Yeah, we got this. And that's a promotion. Very nice. Another lieutenant promotion. Hopefully we'll get a major in some near future. I'm about 20 experience away, I think. Now I can flank the cursed trooper. I still have to kill the warlock. I think Jeremy can do that. Yes, and he can still stay concealed. Yep, let's go with that. I will always find you. So that will be a kill. Yeah, there's a group over there. So we definitely want to stay concealed. This is 100% and I do have a silent killer now. So this is actually completely safe to do. We will stay concealed. Okay, and then the trooper and the sectoid. I might not kill the sectoid, but he's not really much of a concern on his own. Maybe I will though. 52% is not that bad. Okay, missed. Still got a long strider here. Let's kill the trooper really quick. So that should be a granted kill, more or less. There it is. Oh, long strider actually does not have line of sight to the sectoid. I would have to move. Even if I move, that's not going to help me too much. Okay then. I'll just overwatch from over here. Is that the Chosen? That's the Chosen. Okay. That's not very surprising. I was hoping to avoid her in this mission, not gonna lie. But okay. Oh wait, that's the Hunter. Right, so that's the first time we got the Hunter in this campaign. He's immune to melee damage, which doesn't matter for this group. I do not have a skirmisher. He takes increased damage from close range attacks. He also does not trigger overwatch or reaction fire. And he has a chance to return fire against missed shots. That's kind of obnoxious, the part about missed shots. But alright. Commander, one of the chosen is here. We'll have to deal with it before it The hunter in general is definitely less obnoxious than the assassin. I think that Viper will see me. Yep. That should trigger Overwatch here. Or not? Yes, it will. Go go long strider. Nice. Very nice shot. A 69% chance. Sectoid, yeah, yeah, that's fine. We'll kill him. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. Calm down. Okay, okay. So I can shoot the sector like this while picking up the load. I think we're in range of the hunter here. Uh, yeah, no, that's just guarantee. you. Uh, please don't miss the sector here. And I do five damage, thank you very much. Okay, good. So that removes mind control. Now we need to kill the Viper. I just need somebody to do a little bit of damage here. I don't need a reload. But let's move into cover, just in case I somehow fail to kill the Viper. I can't imagine that would happen, but you never know. Yeah, no, it's pretty much dead. So that's also... A guaranteed kill right there. And we'll stay concealed. Okay. Well then, uh, let's prepare for the hunter. The hunter might be a little bit annoying to kill with this group. 
With this group, any chosen would be a little bit annoying to kill. I don't have that much firepower. So, yeah, it might be slightly problematic. The Long Strider is my best damage dealer in this group. And he really can't take advantage of Brittle. <laughs> because, you know, he's a sniper. In theory, I could maybe avoid fighting him. Because all I have to do is blow out the monument and then leave. But he's pretty close to the monument, I think. So, I don't think I'll be able to avoid that. Okay, well, let's set up on the high ground with the snipers. That's their job after all, to snipe things. Okay, there's a pod. Good to know. That looks like two pods. Now I need some reloads. Chlorf to high ground. Off you go. Okay, reload. Reload. I still got a few grenades. Hopefully that will help. He will show up pretty soon. Oh, right. I, I didn't pick up the load there. My bad. It's fine, not the end of the world. Let's set up with steady weapon here. Without moving into range. Yeah, right here, that's out of range. Okay, steady weapon. And we can shoot them on the next turn. Yep. Just move a tiny little bit closer. Uh, stay out of range still. Okay, that's good. Just chill on this turn. You cannot run. Okay, they're moving. Uh, that's actually fine. I can try to kill the purifier and blow them all up. I can guarantee killing him, but he's not guaranteed to blow up. Uh, wait, hold on. Now they are actually out of my vision range. There we go. That'll do. So that's a guaranteed kill on the purifier. We will do guaranteed 6 damage. A Chlorf can also take a shot, but he's not guaranteed to do 6. So that's going to be Long Strider. Wait, can I not target? Yeah, I can target the purifier. Do I want any overwatch? No, probably not. I'm too far away. Now again, he's not guaranteed to blow up, but I'm hoping he will. Uh, fingers crossed, I need him to blow up. Go, go, go. Nice. That's perfect. That's so friggin' good. That's so friggin' good. I love it. So we just got the Flame Viper here. I can actually flank the Flame Viper with Chlorf. I will lose my bonus from steady weapon, but I will gain a chance to crit. So I think it's worth doing. I might have lower chance to hit after I move though. I mean, I will have lower chance to hit after I move. I might not. He's getting 40% from high cover, but I will get a slight range penalty because of snapshot. Wait, he doesn't have snapshot. My bad. Okay, my bad. Let's actually holo target. I realized he doesn't have snapshot like a split second after I clicked to move him. <laughs> like 0 0.0001 second after I clicked to move. I was like, hold up! Right, I could just use a grenade here to blow out that wall. Maybe it won't be necessary. A pretty decent chance. Maybe a grenade will not be necessary. Yeah, this is fine, we got this. I can actually finish the job with Jeremy right here. So that is a kill right there. Maybe I can actually leave without fighting the Hunter. I would obviously prefer to kill the Hunter to get some ability points. But if I can just leave without fighting him, I think I will. Okay, now we can move up. Like so. 
he has to be pretty damn close at this point though. So yeah, I don't know how well that plan is going to work out. It might not work out very well. Let's stay in cover, obviously. He has to be very, very close now. Uh, okay. Not yet. Let's move forward here. Uh, there might be one more pod around here. We only killed 11 enemies. Yeah, looks like I will be able to leave without fighting anything else. I'm just going to do that. I don't want to risk people getting wounded. We'll just plant the explosives and leave. So everyone should generally be in range. Yeah, I think they will be in range. I suppose I can move along Strider a little bit. Okay, let's jump down with him. Move over here. Uh, no need to move any more than this. Uh, Overwatch in case somebody shows up. And we're almost done. Just don't dice me on this turn. Yeah, okay, he won't. Plant the explosives. And it's time to go. Alright, and yep, now we can leave. Time to go. Again, I could stay and kill him, but... Yeah, there's no need. Let's just leave. We did our job. And nobody took any damage. And we got a promotion. So yeah, it's all good. We got a new lieutenant. Long Shider is pretty damn close. 38 out of 40. Okay, done. I think we have a covert operation coming up that had a major risk of ambush. So there's a very good chance there will be an ambush in the next, like, two or three days. That was a nice and quick mission. Very smooth. So, new lieutenant. That's going to be center mass. That's a no-brainer for danger, I think. We got two laser sights. Right, and we delayed minor breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, low on engineers. Tell me something I don't already know. We're about to finish bond training, so that's nice. So it was one of these. Let me check really quick. Maybe both? I think it was just one. Yeah, major risk of ambush. So pretty good chance and a minor risk of ambush right here. So I might actually get two ambushes. Uh, this one won't be done for 15 days. Uh, this one will be done in three. Alright. Like so let's get the supplies, shall we? I do want the Avenger power. I really, really want the Avenger power. I suppose the supplies could wait, but I'm almost done with the supplies. Let's just grab them. Okay, that's fine. There, bond level 2. Can we level up another bond? Yes, we can. Okay, let's do that then. We got a mission. Expires in 17 hours. Delay dark event, hidden event. So if I knew what this is, I would actually consider ignoring this mission. Some dark events aren't actually that bad. I've been seriously considering just letting some of them go through with CI. If I'm going to do this one, I should probably cancel the bond training. Because I'll need them both. So if I cancel that and bring them both, uh, I could get Devilish, Nyx, Thomas, so that would be five total. A Chlorf is up, Crispy Goat is up. So I could have a squad of six, a decent squad of six. Anyone coming back in the next few hours? I don't think so. I see 34 hours, that's too long. 34. Okay, nobody is coming back in the next few hours. And I only have 17 to do this. 
If only I knew what this is, but I actually obviously have no idea. And there is no possible way to know. So that's not great. Well, technically, there is kind of a way to know. I can just reveal this for 30 intel. But I'm not willing to spend 30 intel just to find out what this is. So I think we'll do it. I think we'll do it. I might have to make a few magnetic weapons, but I don't have 200 supplies now. Can I finish this? I can actually finish it. Yes, I can finish it. Expires in 16 hours. This one is 11. So let's grab that. Yeah, yeah, we know Bradford. Okay, done. That will help me make some weapons. And yeah, we're going to do this. <laughs> Expires in two hours. I can feel the decent-ish squad. How much time do we have to get the Avenger power now? Expires in seven days. Right. I might also get the facility lead. I haven't decided yet. I don't want to take advantage of the 50% faster scanning as much as possible. So we'll see about that. I will definitely be getting the Avenger power. However, uh, that's the end of this episode, so thanks for watching all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it to Mind Control of Advent, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.